Hey y'all, so we are getting ready to start moving some boxwoods in the front. It is pretty cool outside and the following week should be cool as well. So it's a perfect opportunity for us to get these boxwoods moved where we want them and they will have enough time between now and when it gets really cold to get established and they won't be in shock because of the heat. So let's just go ahead and get these boxwoods moved and then i will probably also place the plants that we have up on the porch that you guys have seen in a previous video so we'll get all those i don't know that we'll get that done today but we'll definitely get the boxwoods moved because it's kind of later in the evening and so we'll get all the plants placed that way we can at least look at them i'm still missing quite a few plants i need to go to the nursery tomorrow uh but yeah so let's get some boxwood moved boxwoods moved. Hey y'all, so I am out in the front, obviously, and Tommy and I yesterday got some boxwoods moved. We didn't get all of the boxwoods moved. There's still a couple that I'm kind of questioning where I want to put them. I may need to go purchase a few smaller boxwoods, but let me just flip around and I will show you kind of the look that I am going for. I also said that I was going to do a landscape plan and share it. I just haven't gotten around to that. I've been really busy, so I'm just kind of Making it up as I go, I have an, uh, an image in my head that I'm going for. So let me just turn around and I will show you where we got um, yesterday with the moving of the boxwoods. So Alex and his guys are parked in front. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but you can kind of see there's kind of a pattern that I'm going for here. Kind of like mounded if you will, boxwoods. Most of them are a little bit smaller. I, we still need to move this one. I kind of want there to be a clear path in the middle. As a reminder, there will be some ewes there. I still haven't found the correct ewes. I'm hoping that uh, a local nursery can get them ordered for me. And then, so we move some of these and some of them like this one, you can see the back half is just totally gone. So there were some boxwoods that were doubled up and tripled up but I knew I could use these and they'll flush out eventually over time really flat on the back but eventually they will kind of leaf out and from the street I put the good side along the street and I may end up replacing those if I go to the nursery and they have some good looking boxwoods I may just grab a couple smaller ones that are 360 round uh this one right here will be moving as will that one and probably not gonna move that one, probably just add a smaller one there. Not sure if this one will be moving. These will be moving right here. And I believe this is a clump of two or three boxwoods right here, so it's not gonna be perfectly round. We moved the big cones. So this is the only variegated boxwood that is up front. I will be taking that out and putting it in a pot more than likely. But I wanted to kind of frame this wall here. Oh, and something else. This is going to get remortared soon. We got all the mortar and the mason is going to come get all that taken care of here pretty soon. This will be moving. That you will be moving. And then we moved this big one right here and that big one kind of over there. So here's a look at this. I will be keeping these in size check as well. I don't want a lot of these to get much bigger than they are now. So some of them are kind of mounded up together from different angles so that depending on which way you're walking down the street, it kind of has some cohesion all the way through. So. What I'm gonna do now really quick is I'm gonna get these boxwoods watered in because we just transplanted them yesterday. I wanna give them a good soak. And then I am gonna get actually started on, even before I move the boxwoods that still need to be moved, 
I kind of want to get, get an idea of where I'm at with plants and how many I need. So I'm going to get all of these put into place. Obviously we got our pansies there and so I'll get those in place, kind of see what I'm working with. I suspect that I'm definitely going to have to have some more plants. Uh, and you can see that this is filled with dirt. So Tommy and I were thinking kind of bird bath on this. And then last minute I decided, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just get a few more of these and plant in them. So I think that's the plan. They will be under planted here, planted around. So I may just snag a couple more of those. I don't know. We'll see. But let me get these watered and then I will get the plant set up and I will record that. And I'm also not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but once these get kind of settled in and established, honestly, probably in next spring, I will be trimming them down to get them exactly to the size that I want them. Okay, so we finally got everything placed and we are getting ready to get everything in the ground. So I'm gonna set my camera up and we'll speed it up just a little bit. And then after it's all said and done, if we have enough daylight left, I'll go through, tell you the plants, and then you can see kind of what it will look like. A lot of the plants are pretty small, so we're gonna have to be a little patient as far as allowing them to grow. but. They'll fill in over time and I think it will look pretty good. So let me just uh, get my camera set up. Hey y'all, so we are on day, I've lost count on the front yard. We've just been trying to get things planted as we had time during the week. So today, everything out here will get planted. Still have this side and here left to plant, but it should go pretty quick. Also, I should mention that we are still, I need to trim some of these dead blooms off the mums, but we are still going strong with zero squirrel damage to the pumpkins thanks to that guy right there oh yeah all of those pansies are going to get planted today as well i still have some alliums that i may or may not get planted today there's anemones there that i really don't know what i'm going to do with because i just picked them up, the, up at the nursery because i thought they were pretty and i couldn't pass them up and then these guys are really pretty. I've never actually seen this variety of grass before and they only grow 18 to 26 inches tall so I thought that that was perfect and then you can see that the seed heads are this purplish colored which obviously goes with my color palette so these are the black flowering fountain grass. They say black but in light you can kind of tell there that they have a purple tint so Those are going to be going in the back. I got those specifically for the back. And we did get the wall remortared here. And we got that fixed over there. Everything got touched up where it was missing. To remortar the entire wall would have involved taking out all of the old mortar. So instead we just filled in what needed to be filled in. And it just looks quite a bit better. So we are happy with that. But I'm going to get my camera set up and we are going to get started planting.
Before we get started, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Irene who sent out three bags of the Enchanted Evening Tulip Mix from Brex. That was so nice of you. And these are gonna be going in the window box and they're gonna go perfect with the other tulips that I ordered. We should get the other ones mid next month. So I'm gonna go ahead though and plant these in the window box. I think that they will be perfect for that spot. So thanks again, Irene. That was so nice of you. So I'm getting ready to plant these bulbs that Irene was so kind to send. And I thought, I filmed this video in multiple different segments and I thought that I would show the vinca. A lot of people said, pull the vinca, it looks bad. I just cut it back really hard. It's sprouting a lot of new growth. And honestly, it looks pretty good. So that is staying and I'm just gonna go ahead and get these bulbs planted. So it is October 28th today and we had a light freeze last night and tonight we are going to get a pretty decent freeze. So I really need to get some of this stuff in the ground. My main bulbs from Color Blends don't come in until next month. That's typically when I plant my bulbs. So hopefully the weather cooperates and we warm up a little bit after this cold front runs through. So let me just get these bulbs planted and then I will show a progress of the front yard. Tommy and my dad are headed right now to Lowe's to get some mulch and I still have some pansies to plant, about two flats. So I'm gonna get those in, we're gonna get it all mulched and then I'll give you an overview of everything. Okay, so I got those all in and as deep as possible. Obviously it recommends six inches. I probably got about five in most spots. I was trying not to totally disturb the roots to everything that was already in here. And I do realize that I should have planted the bulbs prior to planting the violas and the other things that were in there. However, I wasn't expecting to put any bulbs in this until I received these bulbs in the mail. So. We're gonna make do, and I think they'll be very pretty come springtime. And one other thing, there's a bunch of people that were asking questions about these ornamental peppers that I put in the front window box. A lot of people said the peppers would turn red. Uh, I got this specific variety and I can't even remember what it is because the peppers stayed black slash purple and the blooms are this really pretty purple color. So those do remain black slash purple. So I just thought I would point that out. <laughs> 